Okay, continuing on with uh, the engine rebuild on the Versatile. Um, I got uh, my kit here. I've got uh, upper and lower gasket kit. Um, this is actually a new oil pump. Um, I got a new water pump here. Um, I've got all the bearings. Um, four pistons. Um, these are the rod bearings bottom. Uh, these are the bearings for the top of the wrist pins. I got new wrist pins with the with the pistons. I got new rings, piston rings. Um, got a new rod here. One new rod. So um, basically I got all my parts here now. Um, right now I am trying to get the bushings out of the three rods that are still good. Um, and you can see these uh, bushings are like tapered. Uh, so is the rod. The rod's tapered. And I'm really I'm having trouble with this because I can't really put it in the press because it's tapered. So um, what I've done here is I had to make myself a little tool here to press the bushings out. And then I also had to cut me a little wedge here so I can set the, uh, the, the rod in the press and it, it'll sit straight so I can actually uh, press these bushings out. I just got one out. So I'm going to continue on pushing the other two out here. Then I got to figure out a way to push the new bushing in uh, without wrecking that. So um, these are just uh, these are easy to disassemble. These are just floating pins. And what a floating pin is is uh, they're not pressed in. They're just held in with uh, clips, and then they uh, they just float inside the piston. So pretty easy to get them apart. Uh, the hard part is getting that bushing out because it's a tapered rod. They have a tool for this. Looked it up. Uh, Fourteen hundred bucks, I think, for the for the press tool for that. Um, we're not even going to spend that on this whole rebuild here. So um, I got to figure out a different way. I think I got it figured out. Um, going to get the rest of these apart and uh, get the bushing out.
bearings out. Okay, so I've run into some issues here. Um, I've pressed the new bushing, um, the, the piston uh, wrist pin bushing. Uh, I kind of had to rig up the press here because like I said, I don't have that tool. So I've been kind of improvising here. And uh, after I got it pressed in, I test fitted the, the wrist pin and apparently I'm distorting the, the bushing as I'm pushing it in, in the rod. So I'm um, going to have to have these sent in and in, 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 uh, pushed in. Uh, you know, I'm, you need the right tool to push these in. If this was flat, you know, you could do it. But with this taper on this rod, pretty impossible for, for us to do it. So I got to order a, a new bushing. And then uh, we'll just have uh, a machine shop push them in for us. Um, it's going to take a little longer for them to do that, but, um, you know, the, this has to be right. You know, you, if you distort the bushing and you force the pin in there or whatever, and, you know, something bad's going to happen there. So, um, this is a job for a, for a professional shop. So, I'm going to get the, the, the bushing ordered, and then we'll, we'll send these out. And then uh, when they get back... Uh, I will continue on with uh, the uh, build here, or rebuild.